Okay, I want to go over some uh, alternative medicine here. You're going to really freak out about this one. You know, I think a lot of people might give me crap about it too, maybe. But let me put it to you this way. If you got no um, alternative out there, there's absolutely no way you got any kind of medicine and say it's a survival error type of thing and you just don't have anything available. You don't have colloidal silver or anything. Well, if you can get a hold of one of these 6-volt lantern batteries, there's a lot you can do with it. And, you know, I've been reading on different blogs and stuff like that on the internet, and it's not exactly blogs where people are selling stuff. It's basically where people are exchanging information. This puppy does a lot more than you think. It's actually been around since the turn of the century. They used to call it quackery, but let me put it this way. If you got a major problem and you got no alternative, no way to get to a doctor, nothing, there's absolutely nothing you could do, you know, the sky fell or whatever. If you get a hold of one of these, and actually these you can actually recharge a little bit too, even if they're kind of dead. You'd be surprised if you can get a 6 volt charger on there, they can bring them back to life. These cost about 4 or 5 bucks. Pretty cheap, right? That's for, that's for an alkaline one too. Now this is uh, a patent, and I don't know if I'm getting that in focus. It's uh, 5139 684, August 18, 1992. This is the original patent that Dr. Beck was talking about um, where you can basically knock out pathogens. It's not using a 6 volt battery, but it's using DC voltage. This one is 5188738, February 23rd, uh, 1993. Those are the devices you probably see on the net. They're sold like the alternating current. This, this, what I'm going to show you, is very simple, extremely simple. Now this you would only do for about 30 minutes if you're going to use it for purifying blood. And uh, you have it connected on the top here. It's the positive and negative. And if you're going to purify blood, what you do is, see on my wrist, I have like a, you know, you ignore the copper chain. <laughs> but I have a, um, a, a band, an elastic band. And there's a piece of stainless steel and it's wrapped around... Um, the stainless steel is um, has cloth wrapped around it that's wet. What you would do is you would take this connector and connect it to this, the actual uh, stainless steel, and you do this on each wrist, okay? And what you would do is every five minutes you reverse these wires, so you'd have the positive on the one side and the negative on the other side every five minutes. And you do that for 30 minutes. Uh, you know, I'll just put it this way. This is not the Bob Beck protocol, but it's been known. And a lot of people have said this actually has killed pathogens in the blood very quickly. Um, you don't want to do this for any more than like five weeks. You want to give your body a rest for a month or so. You know, if you do this for say a month, four or five weeks, 30 minutes a day when you're sick. There's a something wrong that pathogens in your blood. Just, and I'm just saying as a last resort, just stay it this way. This can probably clobber them. It's been said it clobbered shit a lot better than you think. You wouldn't believe some of the stuff out there. Nobody knows about this shit hardly. The other thing you can do is you see these pads. Now, say for instance you have an infection, in deep in your arm or something like that. This is like a double thick pad. You can just wet these, right? And you have the clip on this side. So that the metal would not touch the skin, but this would be wet with tap water or saline solution. Same thing, the wire connected to the uh, lantern battery. And say it's on one side of the arm. One side of the arm has an infection. Put this on there. And uh, the opposite side of the arm, put this. The other pad, similarly. And, you know, wrap it with an ace bandage. And then change the direction every five minutes. Do that for like 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes. And um, it actually kills a lot of the microbes in infections. This even works as a patent pending. I don't have it printed out in front of me. But there's a patent pending on using DC voltage with oral maladies. So in other words, the DC voltage actually goes through... Um, the tooth through the gum and it gets deep down where the decay is actually decay is from bacteria 
it's not like a chemical reaction it basically it's bacteria doing it and uh, it could be problem with the gums and this DC voltage if you just modify this a little bit you don't want any metal touch in the mouth though but if you have like cloth something wrapped in cloth like a tube or something you know piece of uh, you know piece of wood you know a little piece of wood like that wrapped in cloth or something and you have this on the edge of the cloth this on the edge of the cloth that can actually uh, work if you're putting the DC if you have a find a way to apply the DC through the tooth or the gum where you have a problem you can actually uh, take out the infectious disease and uh, that's a patent pending I don't have that right in front of me I'll look that up and I'll post it down in the information box but I want to point this out because um, you know it depends on who gets how much the message gets around in this but this actually is pretty damn effective it's just that you can't do this long term the Beck bio uh, current the, you know the mic uh, microelectricity the one designed by Beck using alternating current uh, you could do that every day for like you know months and months on end this you can't you can't you you want to stop it you know if you do it 30 minutes a day but it's very powerful it pretty much will knock out all kinds of stuff I mean uh, I hate to say it because it's almost like you're making claims but I'm telling you that's what a lot of people have found you know Hep C, crazy things that you really can't knock out. Lower the viral load down to almost nothing. That type of stuff. So, uh, you know, there's some crazy designer viruses coming out. That, you know, Katrina virus or whatever the hell it is. And you got no way around it. You don't have the money for anything. Uh, give this a shot. I mean, if you know, what do you have to lose, really? Five bucks, a couple of, couple of wires, you know couple of these things you just make them stainless steel and you don't even need to have the stainless steel inside the cloth you could just use the cloth insert and have it attached to the cloth like that right there but you don't want this metal touching your skin so you want to make like a little cloth tube and put this on the inside and have the side touch facing the skin where it's just cloth but it's very simple very cheap and, you know, even these batteries, you know, if you're careful, you charge them up for like 30 minutes or something. You don't like put them on a, you're not supposed to recharge these. But you can actually top them off a little bit and it can last for a hell of a lot of applications. So, in dire emergencies, people aren't going to have access to a lot of medical treatment. This is going to be one of the things I want to tell you. Um, I, you know, I read too much about this over the years. But it's almost like secret information. And it's not from quacks. I read too much from real people said this damn thing works. So it's uh, not really well advertised. So let me just pass this on. Last resort against viruses, flu, infections. When there's no medical treatment available, give this a try. It's actually what they did back at the turn of the century. And they said it was quackery. I don't think it was quackery. Tell you the truth, I don't think so.